TSMC masters the world's most advanced chip manufacturing technology, so the United States has repeatedly attracted TSMC to build factories in the United States. But what the United States wants is not a TSMC chip factory. It also tries to guide TSMC to put more investment and construction in the United States and vigorously supports Intel, intending to replace TSMC. The United States gets rid of its dependence on TSMC while cooperating. What are the backups prepared by TSMC? The United States strongly supports Intel. How does TSMC cope with the competition? The U.S. self-built chip industry chain. Most of the U.S. chip companies will find TSMC, especially Apple, all A-series and M-series chips are produced by TSMC. Even chip manufacturing giants like Intel are inseparable from TSMC's chip foundry technology. Intel CEO Henry Kissinger once visited TSMC headquarters, hoping to get more capacity support. Coupled with the large orders from NVIDIA, AMD, and other companies, more than 60% of TSMC's revenue comes from the U.S. market. Therefore, American companies are obviously dependent on TSMC. If they do not find TSMC as a foundry, they will not be able to obtain the world's most advanced chip manufacturing technology. Although Samsung also has a benchmarking process, which is the only one that can keep up with the pace of TSMC's development, there is a lot of room for improvement in yield and capacity issues. At this stage, U.S. companies can only hand over important orders to TSMC. Even if TSMC has the idea of raising prices, U.S. companies can only accept them after thinking about it. American companies can still accept it, but people in the United States are not easy to say. It can be seen from some actions of the United States that it is building its own chip industry chain, building the ability to localize and sell sufficiency in chips, and forming a complete closed loop of chip manufacturing. Inviting TSMC to build factories in the United States is only the first step, and it will also guide more chip giants to build factories in the United States. For example, Intel and Micron have set a target of 100 billion yuan to build factories. However, Zhang Zhongmo, the founder of TSMC, is not optimistic about the practice of self-made chips in the United States, which will only increase the cost of chip manufacturing, which is a futile move. And what the United States wants is not only TSMC's factory facilities, but even American think tanks suggest introducing talents from TSMC. The United States seems to be cooperating with TSMC, but it actually wants to reduce its dependence on TSMC. Once the U.S. chip industry chain is established, U.S. companies will no longer need to find a single manufacturer to manufacture chips, and Intel may also replace TSMC to make chips for U.S. companies. TSMC's Preparations The U.S. approach of getting rid of dependence while cooperating has added many variables to TSMC, so what are the backups prepared by TSMC? In this regard, some U.S. media said that TSMC has prepared for the worst plan. First, TSMC expanded its production capacity in Taiwan province and built more high-end chip factories. TSMC is headquartered in Taiwan province, and many chip factories in the past were planned in the headquarters area. TSMC plans to expand more production capacity in Taiwan province and build high-end chip factories such as 3 nanometers and 2 nanometers locally. Among them, TSMC will mass-produce 3 nanometers in the second half of this year, and the factory production line is ready. The construction of the 2 nanometers factory is still in the stage of obtaining land approval, and it is expected to achieve mass production in 2025. 
Secondly, TSMC insists on the globalization of chips, building factories in Japan, and conducting inspections in India and Germany. The United States wants to move all the factory resources of the chip industry chain to the United States, and even uses subsidies to limit the investment scale of TSMC. TSMC's approach is to adhere to the globalization of chips. It has already built a 28 nanometers per 22 nanometers chip factory in Japan, and from the news from Japan, the factory construction is very fast. In addition, TSMC also conducts inspections in India and Germany to evaluate the possibility of subsequent construction of factories. TSMC's backhand preparation can increase its ability to deal with variables. The United States has always wanted to revive the chip manufacturing industry and get rid of its dependence on Asian chip giants. Although TSMC is the partner of cooperation, as long as the United States masters the alternative conditions, TSMC will not be like this in the U.S. market. Therefore, TSMC, which is prepared for the worst, will place its factory construction in other regions to avoid tilting its industrial chain resources to the United States. The United States strongly supports Intel, how does TSMC cope with the competition? Most of the actions in the United States are for the smooth rise of Intel, which is currently building a chip factory in Ohio and also has chip foundry services. With the support of the United States, Intel may grow into a chip foundry giant, and like TSMC and Samsung, it will undertake orders from major customers. Intel is the key for the United States to get rid of dependence. The question is how does TSMC cope with the competition? In fact, TSMC can stabilize customer order cooperation. Generally speaking, customers who find TSMC OEMs will sign a cooperation agreement, set production capacity and deadlines, and so on. With TSMC's technological advantages, most of the world's chip design manufacturers have sought TSMC for cooperation, both in terms of quantity and quality. If TSMC can stabilize customer order cooperation, it can continue to grasp the industrial advantages. In addition, the control of core technology must also be acted upon. Intel is expected to obtain the first launch of the NAEUV lithography machine, mass-produce high-end advanced processors, and win the favor of customers. TSMC can only start from the perspective of technology and stabilize the core technology system. The United States has ideas other than cooperation with TSMC, so once the United States masters other chip foundry options, it is conceivable what situation TSMC will encounter. In addition to safeguarding core technologies, TSMC should also pay attention to talent strength, and everything depends on TSMC itself. What do you think about this? Feel free to share in the comments below.